All right, hi Libra. Um, you know what song I'm channeling for you guys? Truth or Dare by, what's her name? She's the girl that, she has that song called Water. I think her name, let me look it up, hold on. What's her name? I forgot, she's an Aquarius. So you got you can have Aquarius in your chart or you could be dealing with somebody that does or you could be an Aquarius with Libra placements. I think Taylor, is that her name? Tyler or something, it's called Truth or Dare. Um. I don't know if somebody fronted on y'all in the past and now they're like, hold on. Yeah, Tyler, Truth or Dare. Go listen to that song. Her name is T-Y-L-A. It's called Truth or Dare. Okay, so... I didn't hear no channel song when I did Gemini's reading. I'm hearing it right now. But, so yeah, she's an Aquarius. So, like I said, you or somebody can have Aquarius in their chart. But um, somebody could have fronted on you when you were down and now that you're up. Or now that something is moving for you, they want to be on your dick now. Whether you're a man or a woman. Okay, what's going on with me, bro? Cleansing, meditation, clearing space, removing negativity. Some of you guys could need to do an energy cleanse in your home, in your space, within yourself. Okay? <clears throat> you could need to cleanse your energy. What else? You could need to meditate. We got family, blood ties, inner circle. So this could be someone that you have kids with, or this could be people in your family who fronted on you, who you, you know, you could have had some type of aspiration to do something and they thought you were crazy or delusional. And now everybody wants to praise you and kiss your ass for something. You know how that goes. Um, but these could be people, friends that you consider family, okay? Something could be going on with family. Uh, somebody could be trying to use a pregnancy, kids, money to pull on somebody's heartstrings. Okay, some of y'all could be pregnant or somebody could be trying to trap somebody. And we have sold. Moving, physical, location change. So a lot of you guys could be moving. Okay, you could be getting a home with your person for some of you. If, you, if you're dealing with somebody, y'all could be moving in together. Or you guys could be getting a home on your own. Some of you guys could be into real estate. Okay, you could be into buying and selling homes, you know, fixing things up. If you're not moving physically, you could be changing things up in your home. Okay, we got interlude, pause, timing factor. So there's something about timing here that's really significant for a lot of you guys. Okay. What's cleansing for Libra placements? So we got judgment. Yeah, I feel like you're being cleansed from some shit from your past. Or you're cleansing, like, you're forgiving people, but you're not, but you're still moving forward. Your heart is still open. Some of y'all could be moving, of course, the city, state, country, the world. You could be seen on the public platform here. Some of you guys could be, like, uh, heavy cancer energy uh, with the chariot and the king of cups. Heavy Scorpio with the world and the king of cups here as well. Um... Yeah, y'all could be seen. Y'all could be on the platform. You could be like an influencer or you're very well known. Okay, but the judgment is about forgiveness. A lot of you guys, there could be people that are just in your energy who want your forgiveness. Multiple people from your past who are still stuck on you. They did you wrong and they could want your forgiveness or you need to forgive a person or a few people. So, because that will help you cleanse your energy and that will help remove negativity. Y'all are clearing out past karma, past life karma, or past stuff from your past. You've learned your lessons. There could be things that are being resurrected from your past, such as people, relationships, lessons, feelings, memories that are coming back up for you to purge it out. What's cleansing? Yeah, four wands, Venus and Aries. A lot of y'all are getting, some of y'all could be getting your home blessed. And when you do move into this home, this if you're moving into a new home, make sure you get it blessed by somebody that knows what they're doing or this home is going to be blessed this could be a blessing coming to you or you guys can go and bless homes for that could be some which some of you guys do somebody here could be a mortician a mortician here okay or work in a funeral home or do funeral services 
there could be some type of getting together with family here okay with the four wands but again if y'all are if this is you guys not physically moving you could just need to cleanse your home mm -hmm. especially if you have people come over or even if you don't just cleanse your home there could be monitoring spirits and shit like that them, them shits was all in gemini's reading i had to i was trying to smash this I, I done knocked over saw you and stuff i, I was going to kill that shit with my bare hands about to get the fuck on. There's a lot of spiritual war. The devil is real busy with judgment. Real busy. Yeah, nine of swords in reverse. Mars in Gemini. I feel like you guys have seen that there's a light at the end of the tunnel. You're not worried about something no more. I feel like you're, you look back at the past. You learned your lessons. You have compassion with yourself. You're just cleansing. You're like, okay, I forgive y'all. Y'all were some losers or you know you could be neat you could be real you, there's a lot of there's some type of self-awareness too that's helping you plur that's helping you purge and cleanse something out of your energy as well okay and it's but it's getting you out your head mm -hmm. nine of swords in reverse yeah two of swords moon and libra so you, can, you could be a different sign watching for your moon and libra placement some of you guys may have a big decision to make you may need to face your fears with something from your past this could be a memory that you need to look back in or you need to make peace with something that you could be afraid to look at there could be some deep guilt that somebody has about you or maybe this is you you're being vindicated from something too if somebody lied on you For others of you, your heart could be closed off because you could need to clear some type of energy and remove some type of negativity from your mind or your heart, Libra. What's two of swords? Yeah, ten of swords here. The past could be haunting somebody badly. Somebody could be feeling like immense guilt. Gemini sun energy with the ten of swords. Somebody could be being haunted. Somebody here could be like, somebody's home could be haunted. Or somebody could be, like I said, there could be monitoring spirits and shit. Somebody here could be really religious or really spiritual with the Herald font. Somebody could be part of a church or an organization, an occult or a coven. Y'all could be into occult practices in a good way, not a bad way. What's this Ten of Swords? Somebody's over, somebody here could be self-sabotaging or overthinking something. Okay, a lot of you guys could be being made aware of your self-sabotaging ways so you can work through it and heal. You and somebody could be mirroring each other. What's this Ten of, what's ten of Swords here? What's the Ten of Swords? Yeah, Queen of Swords, sheesh. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, September, Virgo, September, Libra. So y'all could be September, Virgos, or Libras. Somebody around you could be two-faced. Somebody could be coming to you to clear the air or to some of you guys could be speaking your truth. You could be writing a book, a tell-all, or something. Or some of you guys are writing an autobiography of what you've gone through, what you've been through. You could be journalists. You could be, some of y'all could be in school for law. Okay. Mm -hmm, yeah. Some of y'all could need to get a lawyer for something. But I feel like your discernment is very sharp. You're very wise. You're very intelligent. You're very smart. But some of you guys are really in your head. Really bad. Some of y'all could need to cleanse your crown chakra. If you wear wigs for my lady, try not to wear as much wigs because it could be, you know, wigs, it, it closes off the connection to the, from the crown to the, to the sun and to the source. So try not to wear too much wigs. Try to give yourself some breathing. You know what I'm saying? Somebody could be trying to curse somebody with words. That ten of swords could be a hex or a curse and the magician in reverse, Virgo, Gemini energy. So you can have Virgo or Gemini in your chart, or you could be a Virgo or Gemini with uh, Libra placements. Or you're dealing with somebody that does. Yeah, queen of swords, who's this? 
Knight of Wands in reverse. Sc uh, Sag, Scorpio energy, November Scorpio, November Sag. Somebody could be really hot headed, really ill tempered, and that could be somebody self. That could that could be a problem either for you or somebody. Somebody gets really hot headed. Somebody here could be a, like a bitch. Somebody could be like really bitchy, really mean. I just feel like somebody's gone through a lot, and it's sad. somebody just somebody is just very somebody's very logical, but it's somebody's heart is closed off. I feel like somebody's impulsive. They say and do things impulsively. They're very somebody could be very reactive. Somebody could be really combative, especially verbally. Somebody can have a chip on. This could be somebody's ex who has a chip on their shoulder. This could be that Queen of Swords could be like an older woman. So this could be a mother figure for somebody, a mother-in-law, or a sister-in-law, or something like somebody in your community, your church, your job. What's this for wands? Yeah, the devil. Capricorn energy. Some type of contract here. What's the devil? Can you or somebody has Capricorn in your chart? What's the devil? The strength card. Leo energy. Can you or someone has Leo in your chart? It could be a Leo with Leo replacement. Somebody has a really strong hold on somebody. This could be whoever somebody's married to. This could be somebody's family, a community, a cult, an organization. A, somebody has a really, I mean, this could be like a really strong, somebody here could need to cleanse themselves from a really strong soul tie to someone. This is somebody who's in and out of somebody's energy sexually, definitely. Somebody keeps backstabbing and betraying somebody over and over again. Yeah, strength in the devil is like a death grip. What's the strength here? Some type of year of the world. Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo energy. Something could be ending in Leo season for some of you. Or a beginning in Leo season. A contract you could be going in. Yeah, the death card. Yeah, the affinity symbol is on the 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 uh, strength card and on the world card. So there's something like a cycle. Somebody is stuck in some type of karmic loop because of family or whoever they have a child or kids with, possibly, or friends they consider family. What's the world here? Yeah, justice. Okay, so Libra energy. This could be another Libra or someone else that has a different sign that has Libra in their chart. Some type of karmic justice. Something, there's a cycle closing. Some type of achievement, celebration possibly. So this y'all could be coming together for like celebrations, parties, gatherings, graduation. Somebody could be graduating from law school. Okay. Why is the Knight of Wands in reverse with this Queen of Swords? Okay, Queen of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. December Sag, December Capricorn energy. Somebody here could be into same sex or bi. Some of y'all have earth and fire, I mean earth and air in your chart. You can have a little bit of fire with that, specifically Leo, with the world in the, in the strength card or in Sag. But a lot of y'all can have earth and air in your chart predominantly. Yeah, some of you guys could need to cleanse your home with the Queen of Pentacles here. Or just cleanse your energy. Some of y'all can work from home. Justice here. Mm -hmm. I feel like you're focusing on your bag. Maybe some of you guys don't want to take risks right now with that Knight of Wands in reverse. That could be a fear of taking risks. Maybe you just need to be conservative with your money, your time, your energy right now. What's the, what's this justice here for these bro? Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. A lot of y'all getting y'all. A lot of y'all are getting. You could be getting something financially from a legal system. Some of y'all are getting money back from school or you know I don't you know whatever you call. I forgot what you call that. 
but yeah the ju the justice and the ace of pentacles some y'all this is like a big accomplishment a big achievement it could be a new home redecorating your home maybe paying off a home paying off schools there's something this could be some type of legal contract this could I i'm getting shortly for a lot of you guys a new home you may have to downsize or you're going to be able to upsize it's going to you know it depends you may have to look over contracts make big decisions some of you guys, you're being rewarded. There's some, you have good karma. You have good karma, which I guess they will call Dharma. But you have good karma coming in, Libra. Because you're resilient, you didn't give up. And you got some good shit coming in. Something could be coming in through... Between... Maybe now and Libra season. So this, I mean, this Ace of Pentacles is here. Y'all are being rewarded for something. Something is balancing out. It could be within your finances, your health, your mental. Okay, you clearing out some type of negative energy is balancing something out for you in some area of your life that you could have been struggling with. Some of y'all could be trying to work on your temper. What's family, blood ties, inner circle? Yeah, five of pentacles. Some of y'all leaving family out in the cold or friends that you considered family out in the cold or someone who you have family with, kids with, or a child with out in the cold. Okay, Mercury and Taurus with the five of pentacles. Or somebody feels left out in the cold by you. Some of you guys feel left out in the cold by family. You could be moving. That could be why. Or, people, or you have family who are moving. What's family? Yeah, Ten of Cups. Yeah, family. You could be seeing Ten, 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 Ten of Swords, Ten of Cups, Ten of Cups, Mars, and Pisces, Six of Cups, Scorpio, Sun, Energy, and the Death card, Scorpio. I feel like you're uh, something about your past you've overcome. Three of Swords in reverse. You could be rebalancing out your life. You could be keeping more to yourself. Like you're finding the balance of being open with people, but also conserving your energy for people that truly deserve it. Not just giving yourself out to people just because. Not overextending yourself, not people pleasing and stuff like that. A lot of you guys are healing your inner child. You could be healing something with the child or the parent of your child. Or they want to heal something with you for some of you. This could even be siblings, uh, parental figures. A lot of you guys are learning how to be open, flexible, and adaptable. Okay, or you're, or you're you're gonna have to. What's the five of pentacles? Yeah, four of pentacles. Uh, okay, somebody could be y'all could be feeling a bit insecure about something, something to do with family, kids possibly, your finances. Maybe somebody feels like they don't have enough resources to start a family or to have kids or to have more kids. For those of you who want kids and can have kids. For those of you who um, struggle with con conception, you could be worried about that. Somebody, somebody could in your somebody could be withholding resources. You may have to take somebody to court. Somebody could be withholding resources from you on purpose. Okay. Capricorn, heavy Capricorn in this reading. Queen of Pentacles, December Capricorn, December Sag. Four of Pentacles, Capricorn, Sun Energy, and the Devil is Capricorn. So if somebody here, something to do with a Capricorn, and you have it in your chart, or your person does, or you a Capricorn, you know, somebody, there's a heavy Capricorn energy. The World card is also Saturn, which is ruled by Capricorn. What's Four of Pentacles? Somebody here feels insecure. There could be, this could be poverty mindset. Yeah, some of y'all could be saving your money. Somebody could be hoarding something. Or what, what's four pentacles? Yeah, two of pentacles. Somebody here is really trying to balance out their finances. Jupiter and Capricorn. Something, Some type of karma is hitting somebody's finances. Something could be fluctuating. This could be someone's money. For some of you guys who have a platform, your followers, your views and things could be fluctuating. Somebody could be trying to fuck with that. You may need to. You may need to do some type of like curse breaker or something like that for some of y'all some of y'all could be really tight-fisted with your with your money right now you could be being really cheap really like stingy you may need to like learn how to spend some but then save some right the goal is not to hoard money money works best when it's in a state of flow 
not when we're penny pinching or hoarding but also not when we're overspending so you, if you know you need something you know don't you know balance out you know pay your make sure you pay your bills but also make sure you're treating yourself too if there are some bills that need that can be put on the back burner while you treat yourself to something then do that i'm not talking about your rent or your light bill or your phone bill not the things you absolutely need but like other things if you can kind of payment arrangement or whatever whatever you know treat yourself you know there needs to be some type of balance mm -hmm. two of pentacles okay king of cups and the king of wands in reverse somebody here you know there could be a man who's on the down low. Somebody can have fire and water in their chart. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Libra energy, October Libra, October Scorpio. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. Cancer as well, July Cancer, July Leo. But somebody could be, somebody here could want to come out to their family, but maybe they're scared. This could be a man. For some of you guys, if, if, if you're a woman and you have kids with this person, this person's emotions, somebody's like very up and down with their finances, their emotions. This person could still be in love with you, but they're not a good leader. They're not a good father figure. They're really tyrannical. They're weak willed. They don't have no backbone. Somebody could also, and for some of you guys, this could be. And for others of you, say whether you have kids or not, this could be a man. You could, I, I could be talking to a Libra man as well. So there could be a Libra masculine figure here, same sex or straight, that feels insecure and inadequate because of their finances. Something is, keeps fluctuating here. Somebody could be really tired, fatigued. Somebody here could even be sick. Okay, something keeps going up and down. King of Cups, King of Wands, and the yeah, Ten of Pentacles, somebody in your family or someone that you have a family with. Mercury and Virgo here with this Ten of Pentacles. This could be an older brother for some of you. A father figure. Somebody here could be interracial. I got that for Gemini because this guy is Caucasian here, but she's melanated. And then we got the two women on this card, one melanated, one Caucasian. So somebody here could be like, somebody's family could be a bit mixed. There could be a blended family situation going on. Mm -hmm. You could be seeing 10, 10, 10. You could be seeing 10, 10 on the clock, but also, but y'all got three times. Something's definitely over. There's definitely a cycle that's closing. Something could have been going on for a long time for some of y'all. What's this 10 of Cups? Yeah, page of pentacles in reverse. Somebody could be getting bad news about a family member, okay? Or about their finances. Page of pentacles. This could be an unworkable plan. Some of y'all could be procrastinating on doing something. You're not taking action. This could be something to do with, like, your work, something or a project for some of you. Okay, page of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, the charity. Some of you guys are procrastinating on moving forward with something. You could not be listening to your inner voice. You need to follow. Some of y'all need to follow your heart and walk away from something or someone. But maybe there's a lack of clarity. Maybe there's a lack of resources. With the will of fortune in reverse, you may feel like it's a bad time. You may not feel like not. You may not feel like it's not the right time to take a risk right now. Okay. Some of y'all could work with kids, or you can have kids. And if it's not about kids at all, if y'all don't want kids, can't have them, don't have them. This could be about your inner child. Somebody, yeah. The charity cancerian energy moving forward opposing obstacles so for a lot of you guys your opposing obstacle is your procrastination and you with this king of wands not taking action you not doing anything about something that you want somebody could be at a distance from you or emotionally distant chariot yeah, two of wands. Yeah, just Mars and Aries. Somebody has a decision that they're making or needing to make. Y'all could be seeing two, two, two. Two of swords, two of wands, two of, uh, two of pentacles. Big decisions. Gemini's got two, two, two. So you could be seeing two, two, two on the clock. Yeah, seven of swords. You could be moving in silence. Some of y'all are trying to get away from somebody who you could be married to, who you could be in a business situation with. This person could be noncommittal. They're selfish. 
They could be disloyal. They could have been a cheater. I mean, the Queen of Pentacles is upright, but the King of Pentacles is in reverse. This person may not be a good match. Somebody here is bad with their finances. Somebody can have gambling addictions. Somebody could be avoiding getting help. Somebody could have relapsed into some type of bad behaviors, mindsets, or addictions, or patterns. There could be a negative pattern with this person on repeat. Somebody can overindulge in something. So some of y'all could be trying to decide if you want to move forward or how to leave something or someone behind. Somebody here, this person could love you, but they're a player. Or there could be a, this person could have been physically abusive. Maybe y'all were both abusive to each other, but somebody here could have been abusive. Some of you guys have a blended family with this person. For some of you, two of wands. Yeah, nine of cups. A lot of y'all are trying to decide how to follow your heart in the matter. You may not want to start over with a particular person. Yeah, some of y'all want to walk away from somebody. This could be a father figure or a husband or a business partner. But a lot of y'all could be hesitant. A lot of y'all keep looking back in the past. Yeah. A lot of y'all keep looking back. Knight of Cups, February Pisces, February Aquarius. Somebody could be trying to plan how to come toward you with some type of offer. They could want to extend an olive branch. Um, I don't know. They could want to invite you to something. This could be a family member or someone, like I said, that you have a child with. It could even be a friend you consider family. Knight of Cups. Some of y'all could be planning. You can have new exciting plans right now. There could be a partnership forming as well. Somebody could, want to, somebody could want to take you out on a date too. Knight of Cups. But you may have somebody that you have kids with that's just being annoying. Knight of Cups. Or this is this other person. Or this could even be family members, friends that are not minding their business. Knight of Cups. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. Somebody could want to give you something for a child. I feel like somebody wants to do something or give you something, but they don't want other they don't want other people to know that they're giving you something or doing something for you. An act of they don't somebody here doesn't want people to know that they are trying to come toward you with something. Moon and Taurus with the Six of Pentacles. Somebody could want to keep something on the low. Somebody doesn't want to go public with something. Somebody could want to gift you something or you want to give somebody something. I don't know. Somebody could be taking something from one person and giving it to you, choosing you. But they could be doing this from their ego. Or somebody's taking something from you. Somebody here could be trying to triangulate. You know how narcissists, they try to get you jealous by... They try to try get up. They try to get people up in arms. Some somebody here needs a lot of attention and validation. I also feel like somebody's very performative. They wear a mask. So whatever this person does try to do, there's a hidden. It's something else with the moon here in the background. This person may not even have the funds to do or provide what they're trying to do and provide for you, but they're going to do it anyway to pro to prove something to you. Or there could be a hidden agenda. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, Eight of Swords. This could be, I know the Six of Pentacles is upright, but this could be gifts with strings attached. Eight of Swords. Somebody feels like if they gift you things, if they help you, then they own you. Somebody could be really smothering. Jupiter and Gemini here with the uh, Eight of Swords. Somebody could need to, somebody could need money for their books or somebody could be locked up, <laughs> Okay. Or they're getting locked up, so they want to lock something down with you, possibly. You, some of y'all have new love coming in. You need There's somebody here that you need to reject. You got the Ace of Cups, Seven of Cups, the Four of Cups. Some of y'all have options and love coming in. Some of y'all could have felt overlooked by this person. This person could have been paying people. They could have been some type of, like, pimp or something. This person could have even gotten their family members involved. Somebody here could have paid somebody to do something this could even be some type of binding work too with the eight of swords somebody can have family overseas somebody could be foreign okay but anyways y'all have the universe is trying to gift y'all something y'all could be a bit confused you need to listen to your intuition one of these things you need is only one is only one option one cup you need to accept and it's whatever this this heart is everything else it's just greed, lust, 
fried, gluttony, you know, it, it, only one of these options is your Ace of Cups. This came off with you guys months ago, months ago. Some of you guys have somebody from your past who overlooked you, who didn't think you were good enough in whatever way. You could have had it all, but somebody, they overlooked you for some type of particular reason. Or you overlook somebody. Now somebody wants to come in and give you something now. But I feel like it's only because maybe they're getting rejected or they feel overlooked by somebody now. It's like they're, it's like somebody getting a taste of their own medicine and now they want to come back and be nice and give you something. But I, you got new, I wouldn't go back to nobody from the past, but you know, that's up to you, right? You got the Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. You got new stuff coming in. Eight of Swords. I would be careful with that. Especially if they chose somebody else. Yeah, King of Swords in reverse. They're, they're still going to be lying. January Capricorn, January Aquarius. Somebody's still going to be lying. You could have saw a happily ever after with this person. Or maybe you already, this could be an ex-spouse of yours or like a father or mother of your kids. They could want to be nice and give you something. But this person is, somebody's lying about something. Somebody's lying. I don't know what they're lying about, but the King of Swords in reverse, somebody's a habitual liar. They could have lied about you. I mean, the King, the Queen of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles is in reverse and the King of Swords is in reverse. This person is not a match for you, Libra. They may have love for you, but they're not, a, they're a player, they're a whore, they're abusive, they're a liar. They can even be narcissistic. They're not a match for you. Love is not enough. Love is not enough. This person could have had third parties. They don't feel, re this person doesn't feel regret for the third parties, the cheating, the overindulging. They just feel regret or feel some type of way because they see that you're in this nine of pentacles, this independent, self-sufficient energy, and they're watching you. And they want to come in and see how they can pretty much like get you to be hesitant on anything new. This look at this. That they want you to reject a new love. Somebody somebody wants you to reject this two of cups for this, for them. Absolutely not. This person's going to keep you in your head confused again. They're moody. They're wishy-washy, you know. No, no, no. Absolutely not. Somebody is just, they could have misjudged you, judged you harshly, you know. And this could even be somebody in your family who wants to get back on good terms, who didn't really support you. No, forgive them and move on. You have new love. You're closer to love than you think. Something could be coming back around again. Another test, because maybe in the past you could have taken somebody back. You could have thought they were your twin or a soulmate. So you said, oh, okay, you know, I'm going to let me try to work on it again. Let me let them back in my energy. And they they betrayed you again so some y'all are getting y'all are having another chance to reject y'all are having y'all are getting a second chance to finally reject someone or something from your past whether it's a, a person a place a thing an addiction a behavior a mindset you're being like giving a second chance to completely clear something out of your energy cut ties with family whoever the fuck so moving physical location change was sold for Libra. Yeah, two of cups. Y'all could be Venus and Cancer. Y'all could be moving in with your person. Okay, are you getting a new roommate? What what's the what's the soul for Libra? <laughs> yeah, Page of Swords overlooking a document. Somebody here is watching you. Somebody could be trying to cause distractions. They don't, somebody does not want you to go. They don't want you, they want you to be confused about new love. They want you to reject it. Because if you're so upset, if you're focused on the connections and the things that didn't work out, you're not going to see this Ace of Cups when it comes in. You're going to overlook, you're going to be like the person who overlooked you. This person could have overlooked you because they were still stuck on somebody from their past. Don't be like that person who overlooks new love because you're stuck on an ex or something that didn't work out. You got something new coming in here and you could be confused about it. You don't know if you won it yet. So you're going to have to kind of shift your perspective. A lot of y'all could be second guessing something. Okay. You, have, you, you can need to take accountability for why certain things transpired with, certain, with a certain person. 
for some of you, maybe you do want this person back. Maybe there was a timing factor, but if they chose somebody else over you, if they couldn't get their money, if something was going on with their money, that's okay. And if like, they didn't have enough to offer you, if like they didn't have no value, that's different. But if they couldn't see your value because you didn't have certain things, you need to, you need to, I, I mean, if they chose somebody else, do you want to be like a, a revolving door like okay i can get with libra when i want i can get back with libra i can get back in libra's energy when i feel like it and then if if something if a, if a greener grass comes across me because somebody here could be really superficial really materialistic if something better comes along i can dump them again and come back to them again later if this doesn't work out because they oh, they've taken me back already even if you only did it once with, a, with certain people it only takes one time for them to have you fucked up because they're so arrogant. Two of Cups and delusional at the same time. It's weird. Two of Cups. Yeah, Eight of Cups. Yeah, some of y'all could be moving for love. Y'all could be dealing with somebody across at a distance. Saturn and Pisces here with this Eight of Cups. Yeah, somebody could be walking, somebody's leaving whatever is familiar to this two. Somebody here is going to their two of cups. Eight of cups here. This is eight of cups. Yeah, four of cups. Moon and cancer. Somebody's being rejected. Somebody's losing interest. Somebody's no longer investing into this empress in reverse, this karmic, this bitch who's been doing spell work, keeping them stuck, keeping them cold. There's somebody here who's smothering, overbearing, draining. Nothing, nothing, nothing is growing around this. Nothing can grow being with somebody that's like this, man or woman. Somebody's being rejected and left behind for a two of cups. It's only, a, it's really just about timing right now. So just focus on yourself. Even if you can sense something coming, don't hyper focus on it. Because the more you hyper focus on it, the more you're gonna delay it. And the more you're going to get in that shadow energy, that codependent, obsessive energy, and you're going to just delay something. What's this four of cups? I feel like somebody's emotionally checked. Somebody here could be moving out of a home that they live in with somebody. They could be becoming emotionally checked out. They're dissatisfied. They're apathetic. Four of cups. Yeah, the death card. Something's over. Scorpio energy. A lot of water here. Something's completely over. Yeah, something's over. <laughs> Something is changing. Somebody cannot control whatever this is that's happening. It is what it is. What's Page of Swords? Yeah, Queen of Cups, the Queen and King of Cups. June Cancer, June Gemini. Yeah, there could be a delay with something. Maybe it's a timing factor. Somebody could still be asleep. Or somebody could need to heal from something. So in the meantime, just Nine of Pentacles. Be in this Nine of Pentacles energy. Somebody here can need to, y'all can need to go out, have some fun, okay? Y'all could be staying to yourselves too much. Y'all could be chronic loners. Go make some friends, okay? For those of you, if you don't have a person in mind, maybe go out and, you know, meet some people. Whether, whether you want love right now or not, just love on yourself and make some friends. Clean the cups. Somebody could be realizing that they're in love with you now or that they still care about you. Queen of Cups. Yeah, Five of Cups in reverse, Mars and Scorpio. I feel like you guys have your you learned from your past. You're moving on. Some of y'all, some of y'all can be moving out of a home. Somebody could be watching you from fake pages. Again, y'all, if you don't think you have suitors and offers, you do. You're just not seeing it because your heart could be blocked off or you can't see something clearly. Because something, your heart is locked off. I, I feel like that's a big thing. Really, five of cups in reverse. And for others of you, you're, you're overcoming something. Five of cups in reverse. Yeah, nine of swords. You're seizing opportunities. Taurus, Gemini energy. May Taurus, May Gemini. Or somebody wants to seize an opportunity with you. Somebody has a sense of urgency now. Now that they're being rejected, or or whether by you or whoever, now that they now they have this, somebody could have missed an opportunity with you, as well, or you missed an opportunity. What's this? Not a swords. Yeah, Ace of Oh my God, Libra, Ace of Cups. Y'all got new love coming, and I'm gonna leave it at that. But y'all could be a bit hesitant. Aquarius, Aries, here, y'all could be a bit hesitant. You could be fearing change. 
don't do nothing reckless. Don't do anything in haste because I, I, I'm seeing that too. Y'all could be in a rush to do something, get married, commit, getting a relationship. Don't, don't move in really fast. Don't do nothing in haste because you don't want to repeat a negative pattern. If you have a pattern of getting with people or falling in love really easily, over committing yourself really easily, over giving to somebody really easily, even if it's a past person, past, new, old, whatever, that you're going to repeat, you're going to get into that codependent, that devil energy, that codependency, something is going to turn really karmic or it's going to, you know, stay karmic. So y'all going to, something, y'all have an ace of cups, ace of pentacles, my two favorite aces. Y'all, so y'all got, y'all got a knight in shining armor type of person. This person could maybe even be younger than you. For some of you, maybe you're overlooking it because they're not coming packaged the way you thought your 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 life partner would be, or when, or something like that. Yeah, all these flies and things coming on the window. I don't have to. There's so many monitoring spirits. <laughs> some of y'all are getting good news about a home, like really fast in a few days for some of y'all, or repairs on your home. But it could be love coming in. I just think don't do nothing in haste. Like, don't. You're going to be tempted to rush into something or rush and do something. Yeah, heart, deep love, deep affection, and caring. Cheer-filled. Someone new is entering your life. You have somebody new coming in. This person could be new to your neighborhood or you could be new to their neighborhood or their country, city, state, their job. Okay. Keep this to yourself. And for those of you, if you're working things out with somebody, I'm not really feeling that, to be honest. <laughs> I feel like y'all are going to over something new. Uh, what else? I just think you guys are hesitant. What else? So we got a fair woman, dealings or relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. Some of y'all could be Caucasian women. You can have blonde hair. But if y'all are married to this person, maybe y'all do want to work on things. Maybe a change of scenery. Maybe this person will get help. Or I don't know. But um, I saw that Empress in reverse. So some of y'all could be having fertility issues and a high priestess. There could be emotional outbursts due to a pregnancy, postpartum. For those of you who just had a baby, be mindful of that. And postpartum happens to the father and the and the mother and the father. It's not just the woman who goes through it. So talk to your partner for those of you who are married or have kids. For those of you who are having a hard time through conceiving, there could be something on your sacral chakra and your heart chakra. Maybe there could be some mother wound that you may need to heal. Okay, but fair woman. So somebody here could be mixed, or somebody can have blonde hair, whether it's a wig, highlights. Somebody can have blonde, gray, or white hair. This could be a mother-in-law, okay, or you, or your person. Any problems to be solved. So, I feel like you guys are just focused on... Focus on solving problems, not just being in them, okay? Don't just focus on the problem. Focus on solutions, too. Broken wishbone, wish will not be granted. Yeah, I feel like this is about somebody from your past. I feel like a lot of y'all are not getting back with somebody. This person lies too much. They did too much. Success. Yeah, a lot of y'all are on your way to success. You're on your way to being comfortable. Okay, if you are going through something financially, you're going to, that'll get better. But you may have to take care of some other stuff first. Some of y'all may need to move. Or change your career or something. What else? What else for Libra? What else for Libra? firecracker excitement some of y'all could need more fun need more excitement there could be something exciting going on it could be this new love this move okay four leaf clover great and good fortune um, I don't know. so y'all could be experiencing that soon that's too many 
yoke, feeling tied down or frustrated. So that could be how some of y'all feel. Y'all could be losing your patience with something or someone. Lightning, control your anger or you will be sorry. So some of y'all need to control your anger. Cobweb, protected from negative forces beyond your control. Yeah, y'all are being protected from something or someone. And we got chain. Chain of events that will affect your life. So... And then we have horse, short journey. And something could be happening in July. Yeah, something with the man. Y'all could be older women dealing with a younger man. Or you're an older man dealing with another younger man if you're into same sex. Or you could be an older man dealing with a younger woman. Or you could be this younger woman dealing with an older man. Or flip and switch it. Younger, older. Dealings or relationship with a man. Yeah, something could be, y'all could be taking a short trip in July. Or in Cancer or Leo season. July is Cancer and Leo season. Yeah. It could be a road trip. It could, it could be something. Maybe something is getting postponed or delayed until July. Maybe you were supposed to do something now in June, but it has to be done in July. Or you were hoping to make some type of move this month or before, but it's being postponed to July for some of you. Something could be involving a Cancer or a Leo, or you have Cancer or Leo in your chart. Okay, or your person does. But this is your reading, Libra. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.